Let's go ahead and end the show with our best bets. And you want to do this one? How many How many bets you got this week? Uh, well, I pick five. I pick okay. five every week. I'm never going to not pick five. Okay. Well, that's, that's I'm never what I'm saying. I'm going to pick more. I'm never going to pick less. I've got five. I, pl- I play the super contest. There I you pick go. five. Okay. So that's that's what I've got as well. I've got five. Um, I will uh, I will go ahead and start us off here. Okay. I'm rolling with the Kansas City Chiefs on Thursday night. I like them minus the nine. I think that, you know, it, it may start off slow, all that kind of stuff, but I have a feeling that the Chiefs, especially on the night where they get to hoist the uh, the Lombardi trophy, they get to show everybody all this stuff, and, and it's all on TV and whatnot, but and they're, they're still going to have, you know, some fans in the stands and whatnot. I think they are going to come out guns a-blazing. They got the weapons back from last year. I think Clyde Edwards-Hilaire is going to have a fantastic game. Yes, Bill O'Brien is a, a fine coach, you know, whatever. But I think that this Texans team got worse, and I think that the Chiefs are still really good. I'm going to take the Chiefs by two touchdowns here. I like the minus nine. Give me the Chiefs. Going up to Buffalo, they got the Jets coming in. I don't think the Jets are good. I think bad teams are going to look really bad without a preseason. And uh, I think the Bills got better this year. I like the Bills a lot. They got to win by less than a t- uh, more than a touchdown. Um, the Lions are six and a half. I'll take the Bills. I, I like that. I like that. I thought really hard about that game. I thought really hard about that one. Um, but, I, I like, I hate Sam Darnold, but also I'm a little worried about Josh Allen. So, either Not way. Not worried about Josh Allen at all. They go run the football, Josh is going to throw it deep. That's a, hey, that's what Lamar did last year, right? That's it. There you go. All right, moving on to Sunday. My second pick here, the Seahawks are going down to Atlanta for a noon game. Now, everybody will tell you all about how the Seahawks are fantastic whenever they go into the Eastern uh, time zone and whatnot. I I like the Falcons in this spot. I think they're going to win the football game. I don't I don't have a good reason why. Uh but I just I don't trust the the coaching staff or at least the offensive coaching staff for the Seahawks right now and I think their defense is going to take a little bit of time to get caught up uh with with their new toys, right? I think it's going to take a little bit. I think the Falcons are going to win this first one at home. Uh, give me the Falcons plus two and a half. I I don't have a great reason for it. But I, in week one with no preseason and and who knows what this season's even going to look like, uh, give me the Falcons at home. I, I like them as an underdog in this spot. My second game, I'm going to Atlanta with the Seahawks. And I think Russell Wilson and Pete Carroll and that run game and DK Metcalf and Tyler Lockett are going to go in there and they're going to kick their ass. I just don't <laughs> think Falcons are good. I got a lot of money, substantial amount of capital that's to me on Dan Quinn being the first coach fired. Can't win the first game if you're going to be the first coach fired. That's a valid point. That is a valid point. Okay. Third one for me. Going up to Minnesota. I'm going to take the Vikings minus two and a half against the Packers. I don't think this Packers team is very good. I think they've got too much crap going on after they selected a uh, a first-round quarterback and whatnot. Uh, There are very few weapons for Aaron Rodgers to throw to, and I think that the Vikings' defense, even if he did have weapons, was still going to be able to slow him down. I, Kirk Cousins isn't great in primetime spots. This ain't a primetime spot. This is a divisional game. That Vikings at home, really good. Vikings at home in divisional games, really good. Uh, give me the Vikings to win by, you know, at least a field goal here. I, I think this is, I mean, this seems kind of easy to me. Uh, maybe, maybe I'm crazy, but I like the Vikings minus two and a half. Staying in the NFC, uh, the, sorry, I'm going to the AFC South. Okay. The Indianapolis Colts playing in Jacksonville. Jacksonville is a bad football team. All, all I'm trying to do this week is bet against bad football teams. Bad I think idea. one is really well coached. I think the other is not. I think one is really well put together. I think the other is not. I think Philip Rivers is about to have one of the best seasons, the most efficient seasons, let's say, um, that he's ever had in his life. And uh, I think they're going to run the football. I think they're going to shut Jacksonville down. You got to give a pretty good number in the NFL. I don't like doing that. I don't like going over a touchdown. It's over a touchdown. It's eight almost everywhere. You can get it eight and a half some places. You can get it seven and a half in others. You know, I, I, it's a it's a it's a sizable number. Yeah, in the NFL. And this I don't is know that this I is care. one of those. By the way, uh, Bet Online has this at minus nine and a half for the Colts. Yeah, uh, but you can get it at Pinnacle for minus seven and a half, and then it's like I was about eight say, basically everywhere that's, else. Yeah, yeah. So that's that's it. Um, so I'm going to take the Colts, and I'm going to take seven and a half from Pinnacle. I uh, I'm I'm with you. I understand that. I am going to go to Foxborough for my fourth pick. The Dolphins heading up to the Patriots. 
the Dolphins kind of started that. They didn't start it, but they kind of ended that regular season for for the Patriots in a very ugly fashion. And then the Titans finished them off, finished off the Tom Brady era, and that comeback touchdown, you know, with Brian Fitzpatrick and and all that kind of stuff. That, that's that's what everybody's pointing to, right? Brian Flores coming back to the Masters Lair, all this kind of mess. I I don't buy it yet. I I'm, I don't see where Miami is there just yet, and I think. Everybody wants to sell on the Patriots this season. I think game one, there will not be a better prepared team in the entire NFL than Bill Belichick's bunch. And I'm having to lay less than a touchdown. Absolutely. Give me the Patriots minus six and a half against the Dolphins. This is uh, early last season. The Dolphins were getting hammered by, you know, 50 points a game. I mean, it was just ridiculous. I don't think it's going to be the the same thing. By the way. Uh, yeah, by the Patriots, and then what was the other one? Was it the, Co- the Cowboys. The Cowboys, yeah. I mean, it was just, it was absurd. Um, <laughs> Matt Miller said Peter King had Miami winning the division. That's just, nobody should listen to Peter King anymore. I mean, that's just ridiculous. Uh, give, me, give me the Patriots, minus six and a half. I think, I think Cam Newton comes out and Firing. looks unbelievable. That, I, got, I, got, I get Cam Newton for an MVP sprinkle on there. That's, that, there I got go. a little taste on that. So, I'm going a little unorthodox here. This is... This is a little weird. Liz is a little bit of a heart bet, and and a, and a, and but a lot of logic behind this too. I'm I'm going to our nation's capital. I'm going to Washington, and I was I scared of that. Gonna, and I am going to bet on the Washington football team plus six against the Philadelphia Eagles. I don't think the Eagles are very good at all. I I think this team is going to struggle to get to eight and eight, seven and nine. I don't find Carson Wentz to be good. I don't know why people look at him and think he's good. I've watched him play. I can't see it. I don't see it, okay? I I think after this team has won the Super Bowl, they lost so many players. That, that they just don't look anywhere close to the same. Offensively, they don't scare me at all. But let's get to Washington. Ron Rivera is a grown-up in the room. Ron Rivera is a professional football coach. Okay, Blackjack Del Rio taking over that defense. That defense is loaded with talent. Yes, it is. If if you played in a national championship in the last three, four years, there's a really good shot that you're on Washington's defense side. Okay, (laughs) and they and they are maybe in the playoffs. All right. And they just added one of the freakiest freaks that we've seen come through the combine in a long time. Okay, I, I think defensively, this team is going to be really good. I think they're going to surprise the hell out of people in Washington. I I don't like Dan Snyder. It's okay. I can like this team and not like the owner. I think that's acceptable. I, I hell, I like the Colts and I really hate Jim Irsay. So, I mean, it, you did the same thing with the Chargers. Yes. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, that's right. It, it's okay. I I think this team is an unbelievable football team and it, they're going to be better. I don't know that I believe in Haskins. I'm worried offensively. I'm I'm going to put that out there. I'm very worried offensively. I get a 6-point head start with a professional football coach on one side and a team that I just think is not nearly as good as everybody makes them out to be. Nobody believes in Washington. This is a redemption story I'm ready to see and and it starts week 1. I think they're going to upset them. I think they're going to beat the Eagles. I think they're going to win this football game. And I'm going to tell you Ooh, this. Okay. Ron Rivera coming out, got cancer. He's going to kick cancer's ass too. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, I'm going to jump. By the way, everybody that's leaving comments and whatnot, I'm going to jump into them as soon as we get done with these last two picks. So just hold on. We'll jump into it. No worries. Uh, last game for me, the Los Angeles Chargers are going to Cincinnati, Ohio for a noon central kick. Now, that would be 10 a.m. their time, correct? Yes, sir. I think that's how the time works. I believe that's how that works. And the Bengals are a three-point underdog here. Now, it might be crazy to bet on... Oh, time out. What? That's a four o'clock kick. When did that become... Ah, uh, you're right, 305. Okay, 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 okay. Either way, don't, that, don't that doesn't matter. The time. That don't matter anyway. I'm not that worried about that. Uh, what I am, what I am saying here is I think Cincinnati wins this ballgame. I think Cincinnati has more talent. When I was looking through this roster, I was looking through the depth chart and whatnot, and I saw what they did early in the season last year, even with, you know, a new head coach and whatnot. Well, now you're in second year of a, of a new head coach. I think Joe Burrow coming in, he was already announced as a team captain. 
he was voted by the players on the team, all the veterans and whatnot, made him a captain. I think they got talent. I think they got a, a fairly decent defense. I think the Bengals are going to win this football game. I think the Bengals are going to win that football game too. Yeah, I've, I've got them plus three here. So yeah. Is that your last pick? No, it's not my okay. last pick. I, I'm, I'm going to the Saints. I'm going to Tampa. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna bet on my boy Tommy. I, I had to make up my mind: am I betting on Joe? Am I betting on pay, uh, Bill? Or am I betting on Tom? And and I can't can't do them all. Which I'll do them all. But super Eventually. contest. I gotta be. I gotta be smart. I'm going with Tom, man. He's not gonna lose first game of the season. He's just not. He's not going to Tampa to lose football games. He didn't do that. He didn't sign up for that. So and and I also tell you this. I think this taint, Saints roster, Saints roster. I think the Saints roster is loaded. Let me let me preface what I'm about to say by I think they're really good and I think they are loaded with talent. I think I think we're going to see old man Drew Brees because I think yeah. we saw him last year. Uh, I don't towards know the that end Drew of the Brees season, throws the football much more than five to ten yards across the line of scrimmage. Uh, yeah, we saw it at, at the end of last season. I mean, when he came back from that injury, uh, he was not the same, and uh, he. You know, Brady hasn't had an injury uh, like no, that. he doesn't get hurt. You know, he, he doesn't just, get hurt. Yeah. He's, not, he's not a real 44-year-old man. Yeah, it's, it's Brady. not the same. Uh, Breeze, no. however, no. Uh, he looked Brady every drinks bit. potions and works with witch doctors. Yeah. Drew Breeze does not. Breeze okay. looked like uh, like his age at yes, the end of last season. He looked like a 40-year-old man trying to play quarterback. Yeah. Who was I, once great and is no longer great. And I think... That is going to be a problem at some point in time. I will tell you this. If he looks bad and they lose a couple of games, let's say they're four and four in the first eight games. Do you give Jameis a look if you're paid? Because you went all in on this season. They are not. I've seen their salary cap issue. They don't think they're going to play football in 2021. Yeah, I think yeah, 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 I think you're right about that. I think you're, you're right going to talk that. about all in. Um, maybe, maybe they give Jameis a look, but uh, I mean, it, or do you? punt on the season at that point if you're 4-4. Four you, know, four. you can't punt on the season because they are not set because up they're all in. to rebuild. They are not set up to rebuild. No, I mean, they maybe, don't have that option. May, maybe you let that happen. I, I I would think in a like for a typical team. Is this uh, a situation where Breeze tweaks something and we got to put Jameis in for a couple of weeks just to see if it works? And then we maybe. can see, can Breeze come back like we did with Bridgewater last year? Well, remember, every, like everybody says that he loves um, uh, Taysom Hill. Like no, Taysom so, Hill can't yeah. be it. Taysom Hill's not in the NFL. They spent yeah, the I reason know. they have cap problems is because they give Taysom Hill twenty four million dollars. Okay, that is twenty four million dollars that should go to another player. Or or two. I like Taysom Hill. I don't hate. To, he's not an NFL quarterback. No, he does not need twenty four million dollars. No, he does not. No, he does not. I, I don't know of anybody else in league that would have given him that. You know, but either way, uh, let's jump into the comments to close out the show today. We've got uh, just a couple more minutes here. Uh, Tyrone Davis said Dallas will win against the Rams. Uh, Matt Miller said, do you guys think defenses stand out early because of the lack of reps from offenses? Yes. Yes, sir. Absolutely. Yes, sir. Um, Damian Estrada said, whoa, whoa, Vikings aren't that good against the division. They can't beat the Bears. Uh, not true. Not true. But, um, and I'm, I'm going long span here. Not not just based on last year or anything like that. Uh, Matt Miller, uh, oh, he talked about Peter King. Uh, Damian said, Patriots are tanking. Tyrone Davis said, New England God. will lose every game. Uh, y'all just y'all don't know Bill Belichick. I swear, like uh, that no, man does not this, tank. This just this just this just hate. This if, just if they were tanking, they wouldn't go get hate. Cam Newton. That is absurd. Like I swear to God, just unadulterated hatred. Uh, Matt Miller said Dwayne Haskins went from the Ohio State uh, Ohio State University to the league and the Washington football team and ended up with a worse team. Um, I I would take Washington minus you know minus thirty one against Ohio State. I think they would crush Ohio State. Uh, young Ganji said, got the under nine and a half on Eagles and under 43 on this game. Yeah, I don't think their offense is very good. Uh, I, don't, I don't think they're very good at all. I just don't, I don't see it. And I've got people telling me they're going to win that division. It's them or the Cowboys. I don't know how you get to there. I just don't. I, I, think, I think they finished third or fourth in this division. I think Washington oof. finishes second. Yeah, no, you, you've been, you're high on Washington. I, I know you I are. think Ron Rivera is amazing. Uh, Matt Miller said that should be Washington's name, the Washington Taints. It would be named after their owner. Uh, <laughs> uh, Matt Miller said, I believe someone said he uh, he hasn't completed a pass over 35 yards in the last year. Talking about Drew Brees. 
No. Eight, yeah. No, that, that makes sense. That well, makes 35, sense. Y- I'll t- 35 yards is a long way in the NFL today. We don't Agreed. drop a whole lot of bombs in the NFL today. You do a whole lot of let a guy catch the ball in space and run. More, Very few guys have 35. Now, most of them all have a couple. So the fact that he has none is a little concerning, but 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 that's not the end few, all be all. No. no, no, that doesn't that doesn't concern me as much as the fact that he he just you're just a tick slower because you're just older and in the NFL you can't be a tick slower. Yeah, no, uh, you don't survive unless you're Tom. You're right. And he made a deal with the devil a long time ago, and I don't know how to fix that. Young Gansy said Tom's arm is getting old. Also, guys can't go deep with all that talent at wide receiver. Uh, Did we watch the last game of the season? He had no receivers, but he was launching lasers 45 yards down the field. Yeah. That, they that, just it, hit him in the hands and dropped. That doesn't fit their <laughs> narrative, though. Here, we'll, we'll, I know that. Let's continue with the narrative really quick. Tyrone Davis said Cam Newton ain't that good. Uh, well, no, he's been hurt for two years, and now he's healthy, and he's with a better football Cam, team. Cam Newton's going to win the MVP this year. He's going to piss all of you off. And then Damian jumps back in. He said Cam's not the right quarterback for the Pats, especially not a starting quarterback. I'm telling you, this is where y'all going to lose money. It's going to be awesome. Like, it's I, be I, I'm Here's not even problem. They're going to beat the hell out of the Dolphins. And everybody's going to come back and say, yeah, but the Dolphins aren't any good. The Dolphins aren't any good. Call me when they play a good team. Whatever. I, I'm I'm in on it because I think that this is exactly what's going to happen. I think that Bill is going to Bill look Belichick fine. is a petty, petty man, yes. and he has heard everything you all said. And I do think that Tom that. Brady and the Bucks are going to be pretty good. So... I, I have a Bill Belichick story that makes people that are Patriots fan love him even more and people that are not Patriots fan justify why he's an asshole. This is a story that came out the other day that I saw online. And it was basically, it was right before a playoff game or a big, not a playoff game, but a big game. Tom Jackson went on. This was when Tom Jackson and Berman were at games doing doing uh, the Monday Night Football stuff um, on site. This is several years ago. But he basically came out and openly said Bill Belichick's players hate him. They just they just hate him. They play for him out of fear, nothing else. Bill Belichick was hounded by reporters seeking interviews, including two different people who approached him from ESPN. He said no to both of them. <clears throat> he hasn't forgot what ESPN's Tom Jackson said about him the first week of the season, talk about all the players, whatever. But when Chris Berman personally uh, uh, appealed to him, Belichick – didn't say no to a friend. So the two of them walked across the Lyant field towards the ESPN stage where Jackson was already on set. Belichick approached Jackson. Jackson extended his hand. Belichick glared at him and said, fuck you. <laughs> Jackson walked off. Jackson walked off the stage. Belichick sat for a one-on-one with Berman. There you go. That's my, cool, that's my coach. He's, that's my he's, guy. He's petty. And he is going to use all of this offseason You talk, talk all that noise. I hear it. I hear it all, baby. Oh, yeah. Hear it all. Uh, Damien jumps in. He said, I see the Dolphins making the playoffs with a 10-6 and six record. Uh, you're oh, you're a little ten, too early. Ten games. You're a little too early. Uh, oh, th- my that God. Schedules. Man, that yeah. is really good drugs. Uh, yeah. Really good drugs. You need to lay off of them a little. Just pace yourself. Uh, Tyrone said, what's your take on the Cowboys? Uh, we did a preview on them. Yeah. Uh, just a little bit ago on the on the YouTube page, really you good. Find that. Um, really good offensively. I think they're going to be among the worst defensively. And, I think and they're going to win the division because the division is bad. I think they're going to be fun to watch, but I don't see them winning twelve games because you just play good offense. That's not how the NFL works. Um, I've got them in the Super Bowl. So, <laughs> but, I mean, what do I, what do I know? I don't know nothing. Last year was such a debacle. I swear. All right. You guys have been absolutely fantastic. Thank you for hanging around with us. We are pumped. We have got football tomorrow night. I cannot wait. First game of the NFL season. It is going to be an absolute banger. We hope. We hope it's interesting. We hope it's not awful. Uh, Lorenzo Salazar jumped in. Last comment said Eagles will win the East after they slaughter Washington. I, uh, Hey, man, I love people that, that believe in their teams regardless of what they see on paper. I love it. Well, yeah, I, I did the same thing. So, oh yeah, absolutely. So I, I think I, I had the I think I had the Browns winning twelve games last year. Uh, yeah, maybe thirteen. No, no, I think it was twelve. I think I think I had to talk you off the off the thirteen train. But uh, but either way, you guys Lucky have been number. fantastic. 
Thank you so much for jumping in the chat. Thank you so much for hanging out with us and coming to the channel over and over and over again. Tell your friends about the show. Click that like button. Hit subscribe. Make sure you are subscribed to the podcast so that way if you miss a live show, you get it right there in your feed. You don't even have to go digging for it. It's just right there. So, simple enough. Go over to winningcureseverything.com. Go find our college football content. We gave our picks out yesterday for this weekend over at uh, sbrpicks.com slash NCAAF and uh, our show was yesterday. So make sure you go check that out. We are rocking and rolling over there with the college football season. This is going to be a hell of a lot of fun. You guys have been awesome. Take care of yourself. Take care of each other. We will see you uh, tomorrow. Chris, we doing tomorrow? Sure. I have no idea. We'll figure it out. If, if not tomorrow, we'll see you on Friday. <laughs> Thanks for checking out Winning Cures Everything. If you want to keep up with us, hit subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. Visit the website at winningcureseverything.com or you can like us on Facebook or follow us at Winning Cures, at Gary WCE, or at Chris B. Giannini on Twitter. Share out the show, leave a nice review, and make sure to comment and tweet at us.